good afternoon. Welcome to episode 593. Um, title today is You Can't Love Yourself Through Somebody Else. We're going to have some fun with this one. Um, well, maybe not so much fun, but certainly some education, some inspiration, some suggestions. Before I jump into that, let me start by introducing myself and give you a framework of what we're playing with here. <laughs> My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful, and high achieving women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. For over two and a half, over two and a half, over two years now, I've been doing these talks because of my passion for the divine feminine. I've done these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. I've done them, I've spoken, talked about stuff, 580 plus broadcasts, which leads me to today, because I do these every day, at my usual 5 p.m. Pacific time broadcast on Facebook Live. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'll explain that later on. And today is episode number 593. So in a week, I'll be at 500, 600. Whoa, that's going to be sound weird. Um, anyway, so today's broadcast is called, or well, the episode is called, um, You Can't Love Yourself Through Somebody Else. And I'm going to break this down in simple terms so you can apply some skills to love yourself first. What inspires this talk, unfortunately, is a repeated thing I've seen a lot, which basically is people have this um, externally framed search pattern to find love. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> Literally what people do, again, not you, but other people, I'm sure, um, is they keep thinking when they find the person out there that loves them, they'll be loved and they'll be loving and they'll be happy and they'll live happily ever after. I'm calling bullshit. So there. Yes, I'm, I am a romantic. However, that fantasy is a delusion, not a fantasy. And it's also not viable. The trap people fall into, and, and it's not a trap necessarily that was intentional, but it's accident. It's also because we have a society that preaches, preaches through the form of music and movies and books that you'll be fulfilled by loving somebody else. Or I should say you'll be fulfilled by somebody else loving you. And that is a lie. It's a blatant, 100% full of delusional grandeur lie. <laughs> Am I making it big enough for you? Every love song and movie, to, I mean, I, I, I default to these default ones. I default to these defaults. I default to these ones I've talked about before, which is from uh, Jerry Maguire. You complete me is one of those quotes. Like somehow that you're not complete till you meet that special somebody. Um, Harry Nilsson had a song years ago. The, the, the chorus was, um, I can't live if living is without you. That means that my life sucks because you're not in it. That's not very pretty. It may sound romantic in a very twisted sense but it's not real and and I'm, I know I'm blending two topics here because I'm talking about codependence and self-love but they're not that far apart most people it seems have been trained by this or entrained which is probably better saying it as in hypnotized by all of this um, musical and video propaganda about love and it's an inaccurate perception it's actually heinously inaccurate and it's causing a lot of people to self-destruct and not take care of themselves when somebody they're in love with breaks up with them again not you but people you might know so by the way if this is a p if this is something you think resonates for friends you know please share it with them when when i'm when i'm finished maybe or now if you want to the point i want to make is this we have a bad habit of overlooking the one place where love really exists inside and we keep thinking that it's out there somewhere and when we get out there we'll be feel fulfilled and yes i know there are some people under the belief that when they find the right person they'll feel the most love that i've ever felt so soulmates and twin flames and all that i'm being nice um perspective is inaccurate the true essence of love starts within in spiritual terminology or spiritual languaging i would say that love really is who we are so it has to be within us because it can't come from somebody else unless we do it from here first. And this is the trap that we have been. Um, let's see, it's, it's the trap that we've been we've been we've been forced into, unfortunately, because there's been a lot of um, again messaging and in training and beliefs that we've taken on, even from our own parents, most likely because our pet. Well, let me speak personally. Much I love my parents. My mother passed away six years ago. My 
six and a half years ago, my dad and my mother had one of the most codependent relationships I've ever seen. And it was very clear to me, and watching the way they've been in reaction, re, sorry, watching the way they interacted and were in a relationship with each other, and the way that my dad was basically almost destroyed when my mother passed away, even though it was, we knew it was coming, which, which probably was a saving grace, to be honest, because I think if it happened suddenly, he would have just fallen dead out of heartbreak. It sounds so romantic, but it's also so codependent, and it's unfortunate because my dad has now been going on now six and a half years since my mother passed away, and he's finally gets to the point now where he's willing to take support and move into a group home, you know, a, um, a nursing home type thing in England, because he was unwilling to leave the house that he was in with, his, with, his, with my mother for six years. That's not a way to live life. Even though he was in his eighties and now nineties at that point, that to me is a is a self dis um, not destroy not self destroying or self destructive, but it's a self diminishing experience. And and so for me, from a personal experience, but also from my watch and other people, I see this codependent trap, where that we think that the other person loves us and makes us feel whole, is a delusion, and it's a frustrating one to see because people fall in this trap again and again and again. And I did for a while. No more, thank God. At least I think so. You never can tell with these codependent patterns. They sneak in the back door sometimes. So my, I was say my imploring to you, my, my suggestion to you, my invitation to you is learn how to love yourself first if you don't already do so. Now, I'll get to that in a moment. Before I do though, I want to speak to this idea that we're looking for a relationship that's always going to fill us up and make us feel whole. Imagine that somebody comes to you who's, um, lacking in their own self-love, looking for you to make them feel loved. How needy does that feel? How scary does that feel? And how much do you want to run away from people like that? If you don't understand what I'm talking about, this hasn't happened to you yet, perhaps, or maybe you just have been, have been transparent, have been um, oblivious to it. But the thing is, if you've been, if you've are any sense of aware about how people are, I mean, if somebody comes to you from that place of lack and void of love for themselves, it feels like they want to take from you like a vampire. And it sucks, almost literally. So you'd want to run away. Now put it the other way around. If you're not loving yourself, that's what you're doing to other people. And you're wondering why your dating life sucks. Yes. So what I want to suggest to you is a couple of things. One is learn to love yourself first. Now, there are many love, self-love practices out there from the way you take care of yourself with your diet, with the way you exercise, when you meditate, you do certain things that self-care. That's all great, but those are mechanics. What I'm speaking about is about loving yourself as a being, state of being. Yeah, being, state of being. <laughs> versus, versus a doing and activity type driven way of being loving. Because you can say, do things in life where you get proud and go, I'm really cool, I love myself. It's like, you should be able to love yourself independent of circumstance and independent of activity. One of the things I've said over many, many, many months, I've talked about this, the mirror exercise that I recommend, and I'll give you the example here, but I also mentioned that's one of the core elements of my self-love practice, which I'll put the link in the comments as well. It's such a simple thing, but you, but you can, and you can do this anytime you want, but I recommend you take this on as a building block, as a foundational teaching to build up the love practice yourself, which is to take five minutes in the morning and five minutes in the evening and take time on your own to look in the mirror. And you look in your own eyes in the mirror and say that I love you to yourself in the mirror. Now, I'm saying this as a simplistic, um, cliff notes, the reality is when you do it, you've got to take the time to be present with yourself. That five minutes is not going to be just, okay, just do it in the mirror and just repeat, 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 like that fast. It just sounds bad to me, and you know? I speak fast as it is. It's about taking the time to connect inside in the eyes in the mirror and see yourself in a way that you feel it. And when you feel it, then you say that to yourself and you say, yeah, I love you to yourself. So you, you get that resonance in the mirror and you can feel it embodied in yourself. This practice, as simple as it sounds, is a life-changing experience for people who've done it. If you haven't done it yet, try it for yourself, you'll be amazed. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, for 30 days. Yes, 30 days. The reason why it's 30 days is because it takes 25 or so days, give or take, there's a lot of arguments on that exact number, to change and install a new habits. If you do this for 30 days, it will change your wiring. So your mind, your heart, and your body will actually respond differently. So five minutes, so 10 minutes a day for 30 days, that's 300 minutes total to change your life. 
I think it's worth it. Now, if you're not great at doing this on your own and remember to do it, I actually have in, I actually have, I created because of this request also from people, a self-love guided meditation, which has two audio tracks on it, one in the morning, one in the evening, which had more bonuses and a 30 page um, guidebook as well. That will be in the comments. You can go, you can order that and download it yourself and do it. I recommend it highly because if you're single now and not in a relationship, this will prepare you more than anything else will for a good relationship. Self-love because you're more attractive. That's a key, by the way. And it also makes you more self-sufficient. So you don't need somebody and you won't go for the first person you meet. You actually could take the time to find the right person. What a concept. The second thing is, um, this one's for the ladies particularly, is the tendency that you've been trained on. I talked about this yesterday, I think. Yes, there's some demographics, but this is a PS to that and a reminder again. If you're a woman who has been has become tired and drained from all of the searching through the apps and you've been swiping, 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 and you get no response from the guys out there, and you're also basically feeling like you've got to keep chasing them all the time, you're doing it wrong. Yes, I'm sorry, but you're doing it wrong. Unless you want to be the dominating masculine ball buster that you, in a relationship, but if you don't want to do that, I have a better suggestion. <laughs> I talked yesterday about, yesterday about this and I'll repeat it again today. Um, learning how to be the attractor, the attractor, the magnetic pole to bring the man to you is the gift that women forget that you have. I actually created a program, yes, another program, I'll put the link in the comments for this as well, that is a, a practice, it's actually eight modules that will set you up for success so you actually can get what you want in love and a relationship by being the magnet, being the attractor to be the vision guided, um, feminine, well, use the word magnet again, magnet to attract in the relationship you want. I don't, I don't know that pat down pat. <laughs> but I'll put the link in the comments so you can check it out. It's, it's a powerful online program. There's also coaching involved if you want it as well. Because ladies, particularly, learning how to attract what you want versus chase it is a much healthier way of living your life in your powerful, in your true feminine heart. So that is that. It was a third piece in there somewhere. Um, so, so self love, attract the man you want. Um, oh, what the hey! I'll plug my Rock Your 2019 program as well. That's that. Actually, it's a workbook. I'll put in the comments as well because right now, since it is January and people's resolutions are a bit shaky at best, my Rock Your 2019 workbook will help you a lot to get your 2019 lined up the way you want, including relationship. And I think that's about it. I've done my plugs for my own stuff. Give me some keys. Give me some reminders. Um, I think we're good. So quick reminder again, this is Facebook Live first that goes out to my uh, YouTube channel and my podcast as well, so I'll give the replays so you know where to find them. This is my daily talk on Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. So you can join me tomorrow if you didn't get here on time today. Um, this is episode number 593, as I mentioned. So there's a lot more of these out there and you can find them in the following places. Um, so personal page, by the way, you can find my live broadcast when you join me at 5 p.m is um, facebook.com forward slash Barry Sober. That's where I go live at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. You go to my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author to watch all the replays on Facebook. That's where they're all listed and easy to find. And that's second, third, I have a YouTube channel, which is also my name, Barry Selby. Please subscribe to the channel. And you can find a playlist in there called Messages for the Masculine where all of these live. And finally, I've been loading up on my podcast slowly, which is also called Messages for the Masculine on iTunes. You can subscribe to that and you can download the uh, audio versions of these if you want to just listen when you're riding your bike or driving around or something like that. I've given you some homework. I've been giving you some offers. I'll put the links in the comments to find what I'm talking about. And I hope you say this to heart. Love doesn't start out there. It starts in here. Loving yourself first makes you more attractive. Loving yourself first makes you more sufficient. Loving yourself first is a way of healing your wounded heart as well. If you do that, it gives you more success out in the world as well. But it starts inside always. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time, as usual. Please join me and uh, we'll have some more fun to talk about. Oh, and by the way, if you have any questions or thoughts you want to share, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. And if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them because it might just help them get more what they want. With that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.